Ho, 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 what's cracking, peeps? It's the Santa train coming at you with another episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. Yeah, I put on those COVID pounds, but that's all right, though. Santa still got that big sack of tackle. So to start off, we're going to go with the Mollux Pop Frog. So this is a super extraordinary frog right here. The first thing that stood out to me on this frog is the texture. So when you fish this thing in open water, on the mats, when a fish gets a hold of it or even visually sees it, he's gonna notice the textured skin on this frog right here. Uh, walk it in place, pop it. There's different functions of this frog right here. Another key feature about this frog, notice it's got this little tie on the bottom of it. So that right there, you could add like a little underspin blade on there, um, a treble hook for those open water applications. So they did a lot of stuff with this frog. Great collapsibility also. So you're gonna get a lot of hook when he bites. So definitely the Molex Pop Frog, check that out. Next, by Tackle HD, we got the Stealth HD Finesse Jig. So tiny on size, but this thing is gonna get you bit. I promise you that. Uh, super good weed guard on it, very stiff. You could bend that down. It's gonna come through cover like never before. I'm sure we'd all love to throw those one ounce jigs in the winter time, but sometimes that just isn't happening. You gotta go behind people, so you need to downscale that presentation. So with this little jig, they hit it on the money. Um, I like the tie on there. It's gonna actually kind of hide your line a little bit so it's not getting all chewed up on the rocks. Uh, that little football head design, it's gonna be able to just uh, weasel its way through the rocks. And what better way to fish this than with this next product by Zoom. So with Zoom, they brought out the tiny salty chunk. So this little trailer right here, not even two inches, but it pairs perfectly with these finesse jigs. Uh, we can't get pork anymore, uh, that's a downfall, but this is the next best thing. You're definitely gonna get bit with these little bad boys. In the colder months where a lot of times a lot of your plastics will stiffen up, these things will flutter, undulate as you pump them, as you swim them. It's just a perfect combination, so you better stock your tackle box with these because they're gonna be gone, I promise you that. And next, by Lucky Craft, and back by popular demand, we got the Lucky Craft LVRTO. So uh, Takahiro Mori, he put these things on the map right here. Uh, one of the greatest features about this little bait is, uh, say you're doing like a yo-yo technique or a little stop and go, when you kill this bait, it actually shimmies down. And with that little shimmy right there, when these colder months hit, that is a perfect presentation for a lot of these fish that probably seen a lot of flutter spoons, jigging spoons, uh, just those vertical presentations. So this is a good way to get bit in those colder months. But um, even in your springtime, summertime, you're gonna notice the head is wide and flat. So this lipless actually has a bunch of deflexive capabilities. Maybe not as much as a square bill, but it's gonna bump over cover, over stumps, over rocks. Um, help cut through grass. So this is definitely a bait you're gonna want in your box. So definitely Lucky Craft, great job bringing this back. Also comes in uh, a few different sizes. Here's the smaller one right here too. And next, let's see what else Santa's got in his sack. Oh, look at that, we got the drop shot jock. So there's nothing worse than buying a high-end drop shot rod and there is no hook or weight keeper on that thing. So the drop shot jock, this was designed by fishermen and for fishermen. So uh, you're not getting your uh, drop shot weight, your little leader just tangled up on all your other rods on the deck. So with this, it's a quick attachment, quick deployment juice. So you can get your bait in and out, leave all the tangles behind, and this attaches in seconds to any rod you have. Um, designed for spinning, but you can put it on any rod you have. So definitely great job with this little product. Get you a few of these if you have those. Uh, even if you have those um, little keepers that probably broke off over time, this is a great replacement for it. Check it out. Next by Hayabusa. We got the weedless wacky hook. Um, so with this hook, there's a lot of bite on it, super sharp, sticky hook. But this was designed to bring those finesse presentations into that little heavier cover. So all of a sudden, you got pressured fish, but they're still in that cover. You need that little finesse rig. This is definitely the way to go. It's got these two stiff fluorocarbon uh, weed guards on there. So one, the fish aren't gonna be able to see that weed guard. Two, it's just gonna help deflect off of that cover to get that little presentation in there and get those fish to your boat. So Desley, Hayabusa, check these out. 
Next, Mega Bass decided to bring Sexy back. So we got the Levante rods. We got them in spinning, casting, and different technique-specific rods right here. So they weren't pleased. There was a lot of little malfunctions with the uh, previous ones. So they completely redid these rods, everything from the Fuji Alkanite guides to the uh, custom Mega Bass reel seats. Um, Super well balanced, well tapered. You're gonna be able to feel different bottom compositions with this rod. For 200 bucks, you are getting an awesome rod. So thank you Mega Bass for bringing these back. They did a great job with these rods, awesome. Thanks for tuning in and for more information on the product seen here today, click the link in the bio. If you enjoyed this week's episode, follow our page. Let Santa Train know which of these products you're most pumped about.